Welcome back, Holistic Soul Sisters. It's Mandy Rose, your holistic health coach, spiritual mentor, and astrologer. And today's video is all about tourist season. So I busted out my Dolce sunglasses and shirt, my Louis wallet, and my Gucci fanny pack, because the next four weeks is all about embracing lavishness, luxury, self-care, earthly possessions, our finances, and so much more. So let's dive right in to this tourist season video. Okay, I'm totally joking. I would love to wear these shades for the entire video, but in all seriousness, Taurus does rule our material possession, lavishness, and luxury, but it's also an earth sign. So we're gonna dive in what you should actually be focusing on in the next four weeks during Taurus season. So let's begin. So as we begin this video, I want you to find out where in your birth chart does Taurus fall? I'm gonna help you guys find this real quick before we dive further into this video. So right here is all the zodiac seasons of the year. We start with Aries season, which was last month, then into Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and then Pisces. This is the order that they fall and that they will always fall in the astrological year. So if you know, for instance, you are an Aries rising, you would start here at Aries with number one, and then Taurus would be number two. So Taurus lands in your second house. Let's take another example. If you are a Scorpio rising, you would start here at Scorpio and you would go Scorpio one, Sagittarius two, Capricorn three, Aquarius four, and so on, five, six, seven. Taurus would be in your seventh house. So go ahead real quick and start counting at your rising as number one, go through the chart until you get to Taurus, that number that you land on is going to be the house that you're going to want to pay attention to as we talk in this video. So for instance, Taurus is in my seventh house. I'm a Scorpio rising, and so Taurus lands for me number seven. I'm going to put this chart up real quick here, and I want you to look in this chart at what number house you are. The seventh house represents partnership and romantic relationships. So Taurus season activates and highlights the themes around my partnerships, my romantic relationships, my business relationships. So in what house does Taurus fall for you? Now let's dive in. What does Taurus represent? Taurus represents our material possessions, our finances, agricultural, holistic health and beauty. And that's why I popped into this video with all my designer stuff because Taurus loves luxury. Taurus loves lavishness. It loves our senses. It loves to indulge in all things. The ruler of Taurus is Venus, the planet of love, the planet of beauty, the planet of self-care and self-love. It rules our values and our morals, what we want to spend our money on, what we want to have around us, who we want to have around us, right? Our values. What do we value in us? And the cool thing about 2021 Taurus season is that Venus is actually going to be coming home to Taurus while the sun is in Taurus. Now, remember, when we have an astrological season, Taurus season simply means that the sun has moved from the constellation of Aries into the constellation of Taurus on April 20th. So the sun is now here in Taurus. And in 2021, we have Venus joining the sun here in Taurus. So Venus is home here. Think about this. Venus is like traveling around the Zodiac and she's moving into different locations temporarily. It's like she's living the Airbnb life. And some Airbnbs are not so nice. Like when she's in Aries season, that's like a kind of uncomfortable. She doesn't particularly enjoy being there. But when she comes home to Taurus, when she makes her way into Taurus, which happened for us on April 14th, and it's going to last until May 4th, she's like coming home and she's living in the Maldives on this beautiful tropical island with amazing things to look at and taste and touch and smell. And when she wakes up every day, she feels so luxurious and so lavish. So Venus is going to help us 2021 during Taurus season really indulge in our senses, really feel that sensuality within us, not sexuality. Taurus season isn't about being sexual. It's about being sensual. It's about activating every part of us and finding lavishness and luxury and all things around us. Venus just wants us to relish in pleasure and in all of our senses. What do you like to smell? What do you like to taste? What do you like to feel? What do you like to hear? What do you like to 
be around energetically. These are the things in the next four weeks I really want you to dive into. When you walk into your home, does it smell good? How can we change that? Does it look good? Is it clean? Is it tidy? Does it feel good? When you get on your couch, do you have luxurious plush blankets? Or do you like satin and silk? Or do you like the feel of the air from the fan? Or do you like the fresh, crisp air coming in through your windows? What do you like to taste when you come in? Do you like to have fresh fruit that's available to bite into you? Do you like little treats and snacks at certain times of the day? Taurus season is a time for us to indulge a little bit and really boost our inner happiness, our pleasure, our indulgence, our sensuality. The saying for Taurus season that I want you to embrace over the next four weeks is fill your cup and treat yourself. Put some things on your calendar that are all about self-care and self-love. Book yourself that facial or that spa appointment. Give your partner a massage or ask your partner to give you a massage. Indulge in some sweet treats that you haven't had in a long time. If you've been going for your dreams and your goals of fitness and health, now is the season where you can kind of sprinkle in a little bit of indulgence. Don't go overboard, of course, because Taurus wants us to continue steadily going towards our goals. But in order to get there, we do have to treat ourselves, right? To keep our energy going and to really fill our cups up. So we have the energy and the stamina, which is the bull. Remember, Taurus is the bull, the stamina to keep going. Taurus season is the second season of the astrological year. We just moved out of Aries season, which was all about creating new, new beginnings, determining our passion, figuring out our purpose, coming up with the ideas, being fearless and really embracing our confidence. And as we move out of that season, we move into the second season of the astrological year, which is Taurus. Taurus is an earth energy and it's represented by the bull. This is the time in the next four weeks where we want to start grounding in and taking the steady action step by step like a bull, just charging ahead towards our dreams and towards our purpose. This is the season where we actually start taking action. The bull is ruthless. It just starts plowing ahead, doing whatever it takes, fixed and steady and strong. And that's why Taurus can sometimes be known for being stubborn. Once a Taurus knows what it wants, you're not gonna get in its way. It's gonna move forward. So this is the energy that we're all going to embrace as we move into Taurus season. Taurus also rules finances. So this is really important over the next four weeks for you to really get a grasp on your finances. On one side, Taurus rules our lavishness and our luxury and our earthly pleasures. It rules materialism. And then it also rules finances. However, we have to be careful that we don't overindulge with our finances, that we're not overspending. Taurus season is a great time for us to sit down and look at our money, make a budget, plan out your next year. What do you want to spend your money on? on the big things, on the little things, where can you cut money? So schedule some time during Taurus season to really dive into your budget. If you have your 2021 retrograde astrology journal and you open up to Taurus season, you will see some things that I have listed that you should schedule in your calendar during Taurus season. And for every season of the astrological year, I've put activities that you should embrace during that season and to put on your calendar. So if you haven't gotten your 2021 retrograde astrology journal, you still have plenty of time. We've only made it through just a small portion of this journal and we have the rest of the year to go. After the first week of Taurus season, we are actually going to start the 2021 retrograde season. We've only had one planet, which was Mercury, go retrograde so far in 2021. And as of April 27th, one week after Taurus season begins, Pluto is going to kick off the retrograde season of the year. He is going to start his retrograde movement, followed by Mercury, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Venus another Mercury retrograde, along with Chiron, who is not a planet, but is an asteroid who affects us. He's our wounded warrior. So we have so many retrogrades still coming up. And this first week of Taurus season is a time where we still have the green light from the universe to plow ahead like the bull and move towards our dreams without any stuck and stagnant energy of a retrograde. So really embrace this first week. Get clear on your finances. Prepare for the rest of the astrological year in that area of your life. Also, like I said, indulge in everything. Taurus is an earth sign. Remember, Taurus is an earth sign. And although it rules material possessions, it wants us to find lavishness and luxury in the earth. 
feeling the sun on your skin, smelling the flowers, smelling the rain in the air, going outside and feeling the wind on your body, looking at nature, looking at the water, looking at things that are beautiful. Indulge in our senses. Feel the lavishness and the luxury that we have right around us on planet Earth. We don't need to be buying designer things and expensive sunglasses and expensive wallets. Taurus season, although rich rules our material possession, and Venus wants us to reevaluate our possessions, we can come right back home to ourselves and experience lavishness and luxury right around us. So I challenge you to do that over the next four weeks during Taurus season. Schedule some of those self-care rituals for the next four weeks and really indulge in everything that's right in front of you. So I hope you find some time to schedule those things on your calendar, embrace and indulge over the next four weeks. If you're in our Holistic Soul Sisters Facebook group, feel free to post some of the ways that you are indulging in your senses, your self-care, and the things that you are valuing and embracing during Taurus season. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to go indulge in the lavishness of Mother Nature, and I hope you do too. Catch you in the next video.